Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to MLR in Design. I have here for you today uh, Ken Masters from Prototype Studios. Finished this, uh, building this guy and had a lot of fun, so I want to share them with you guys. Um, the kit comes in several pieces as with all the other uh, Street Fighter kits that they've been putting out so far. Uh, he's limited to 150 and um, this flame here comes normally in transparent. I'll get into uh, what happened and why I had to go with the opaque paint up in a minute here. Um, yeah, this guy was a little bit of a challenge um, just because it's so dynamic. Everything about this guy is, is structured in a way where he looks obviously as if he's elevated uh, doing this punch here. So the story that I have to tell about the flame is that um, I had to go with an opaque paint up because at the end of the build, whenever the statue was settled, I was getting a lean. Instead of him being vertical as he is here, he was leaning more kind of like this. And it kind of, you know, looked really, really bad. And it looked like if he uh, just missed the punch. So I wasn't really uh, going for that. So I ended up going with the opaque paint up. The paint uh, scheme here um, allows me to now have pins um, and, and rods uh, supporting the actual weight of the, of the piece and uh, preventing it from leaning. So there's a pin in here, a rod like so, and another one like so. And then I was able to come in, you know, prime it and paint this, uh, this effect that you see here with uh, oranges, yellows, and, and reds. Um, like I said, I would have preferred for it to be with the, uh, with the um, transparent uh, flame, but hey, um, it, it's an experience for me. Um, something that I maybe in the next build up I'll try to you know devise something different and um, maybe see if I can keep it transparent but we'll see so Tamaya Red for the ghee with burgundies and a little uh, brownish uh, shadowing um, the flame like I said is, is an orange base I came with uh, some Tamaya yellow and um, some transparent oranges and reds just to give it that that effect that you see also another uh, neat thing is if you add some uh, another transparent from Tamaya called smoke to uh, whatever base you have whether it's the orange transparent or the red it gives it like that smoky uh, uh, charred look which really uh, helps to, to to give this effect here of you know in, in the deep recessed areas there where it looks as if it's like really, really engulfed and, 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 and you know, flaming up. So, so yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a fun little technique. You should give it a try, you know, if you, if you ever paint any fire. That, that smoke from Tamaya is, is really essential. Um, skin tone process that I normally do um, on this guy is a little bit more of a, of a paler skin. You know, he's a Caucasian male, so it's a little... Uh, different as opposed to Sagat maybe who's a little bit more um, to me in the game at least like I always say I go by Alvin Lee's uh, artwork he's a little bit more you know darker skin tone uh, different browns for the uh, for the mittens here for the hair is the uh, Tamaya yellow uh, flat yellow and then I use some uh, yellow ochres and some oranges to give it depth there in the hair so as a result of, of me having to paint this opaque, now I could come in with a magnet here and one in his in the back of his hand here. So he locks right into the uh, the flame here. And this is magnetized as well. Um, there's a magnet inside of here, tiny magnet, as there is one right here as well. You can see it in the light a little bit there. And this goes right into there. And as you can see, you know, magnetizes right in. Um, I threw another magnet in here, at th this base area here, just for, you know, a little bit more security. But there's a male peg that comes out of the flame and into his leg, and he's secured in there, you know, fairly well. Uh, rock base to match with the bottom. Um, sorry, to match with the other uh, paint schemes that I've done uh, with the black trim. So, yeah, guys, you know, really fun build. I um, want to take you guys in a little closer so you could see him a little bit better. Um, Oh, before I forget, and how can I, um, I am very proud and very honored to uh, have placed gold 
at Jersey Fest for this guy in his respective uh, category. Um, if you've never been to Jersey Fest, guys, you have to uh, uh, take the time and experience it. It's not such as Comic Con, whereas you know it's so grand and big and everything is is really all over the place. This is more centralized, more homey, more you know one on one. You get a lot of experience from a lot of of phenomenal people who are there running the show and also giving classes and, and bending. You know, it's, it's all a good experience. Definitely give it a try and, and a check out if you can, all right? So in the meantime, um, let me take you guys in a little closer so you can get a little bit better shots of Ken here. And again, very humbled, very honored to have, uh, you know, placed in, in Jersey Fest in the category that it did. So thank you to everybody over there. And uh, yeah, let me take you guys in a little closer. All right, guys, here we are, closer in on Ken. Um, from here, you can get a better look at the uh, scope that Eric did and uh, the paint app that I went ahead and, and did on this guy. Um, like I said, very dynamic, very, very uh, well done by Eric and the team over there at Prototype Z. Um, you know, just look at this, you know, musculature that he does here and um, just the interpretation that that he pulls off with the character and the um, the dynamic of the piece itself is what's really blowing me away uh, with this particular guy who has slowly um, become probably at this point my favorite in the series um, as 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 I was building him I was definitely uh, challenged I'm not gonna lie to you I'm not going to try to paint like all of these things are so easy to do. Um, it's a learning process for me again. As I go, I'm learning as, as I go along. So don't be discouraged if you pick one of these guys up. It definitely um, go ahead and, and take your time with it. Enjoy the process because it's something that um, at the end is going to pay off. You know, when you, when you see the hard work that you put in uh, pay off. Um, it's very satisfying so yeah guys man I, I hope you uh, you like this guy I'm sorry for fiddling so much with the camera but I'm trying to get him in focus as I go so you know I hope you guys um, like this guy uh, ton of fun challenging but well worth it in the end um, Eric and the team did an amazing job with this guy so as usual if you have any comments questions suggestions tips uh, you know looking looking forward to you know hearing the feedback from you guys is very important to me keeps me going so um just feel free to uh you know drop me an email um subscribe comment all of that good stuff man and uh looking forward to the next video all right guys so take care and until next time